Hey everybody, it's uh, Max Sotelo. Uh, I want to say that uh, today I have a pretty simple uh, tutorial. It won't take too long. It is uh, for a, a small application called Drop Zone. Uh, basically what it is, it's kind of like a shortcut, uh, but at the same time it's pretty customizable and it's uh, pretty easy. It saves a lot of space on your desktop. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I would uh, recommend this for people that uh, get their desktop clutter with um, junk like shortcuts and such. Uh, I will show you how to uh, get rid of some of those shortcuts by just using Drop Zone. So let's get started with uh, Drop Zone. Just gonna run it. Go we'll click on it, and it's gonna run. It's gonna run this little box. Now this, what this little box is, this is your drop zone where you basically drop stuff on it you can you, you, you can drop anything from from a raw file to a, to a video file but uh, it, but when you first run it it's also gonna come out come out with it's gonna create a, a that in the in the file which is where you do all the customizations what you want to do is uh, just right click on the little box click edit settings it's gonna it's gonna pop up this little uh, this uh, notepad uh, page, and then uh, this is basically where you do the the customizations. Uh, what you have right here is uh, first of all, uh, I will I will say uh, this is the title. Uh, as you can tell, this is the title. You can change it to anything you want. Uh, for the tutorial, I'm just gonna put tutorial. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, tutorial. For second option for customization, we have the copy, move, or ask. Uh, basically, this is either for you to copy, to move it, or ask you whether you want to copy or move. I usually just leave leave a copy just in case uh, I mess up. But you can leave as move or, or ask. Next customization. Uh, we have uh, that color uh, that, that will be the color for the box itself. Uh, I usually just leave it off uh, paint, paint white because uh, I don't like uh, any. I don't, I don't like uh, to have a specific color unless you want to match it with uh, your perhaps your background or your your uh, custom theme that you might have installed on your computer. But uh, for me, I just leave it on that. You you do have to use. Uh, uh, basically, uh, what is called a uh, hex uh, num number for uh, the color. You can uh, Google those uh, and just get plenty, plenty of different colors that you can, that you can choose. Uh, this as well, you can do for the for the font itself. Instead of being regular black, you can change to any color you want using using the same method as above. Uh, now. Uh, You can uh, have this little box to always be in front, or uh, to be in, in to not be in the front. What it means always on top. It basically means that it's gonna be on top of any window that, that you go over. The moment it says yes, so regardless of uh, of me moving this over, it doesn't do it because it's always gonna be on top. That's what it means. You have that to uh, you know move to say no, so you so you can go over. Or to keep as yes, so you always have the access to it. And finally, we have the destination folder paths. Paths. So what you do right here, you just what you do right here, you, you to create a new one. You, what you're gonna do is just add put a number. Let's say one. Then you you, you can add the equals. And then you and then you can add the name of the link, which uh, let's call it third. And then, and then you can just, you, you, then you can uh, add that the the, separ the separation, uh, and then uh, you, you you can add the destination. 
for this tutorial, check it the simple and it's gonna add the C, C drive. Now, now for now, now I have all this text, whoever we want, and we're just gonna click this, and close it, click save, and we're done with that. Uh, you, you can right click on this little settings, and then it's gonna close it, and then it's gonna turn it back on. You can see now it says tutorial, and then and we can even resize this to be real tiny, just enough for you to drag stuff or really big to take half of the space. But I would suggest keeping it simple, just to make it a simple box. Now, how can we use this to customize stuff? Well, let me show you. If you uh, drag, let's say, let's say this picture that I have here from uh, Deadpool, which is a pretty cool comic character. Uh, uh, you just drag it in here. It's going to ask you where you want to send it. Uh, for example, uh, we can add the tutorial folder, which is the one uh, I chose. Or you can just, you know, send send this as a, somewhere else to Windows. For, for right now, we're going to send it to Tut. And you should send it right, right away. Now, send, 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 send it to the C drive. It's telling me that I can't, but, you know, that's just... For the tutorial, obviously I'm not gonna send it to C drive, but you you, you you can always drag and and ask for specific specific places such as that's in my documents. If you wanna know what, what what's the place for that? You can you 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 can always just go to it directly, go to my documents, and then just hit hit, hit right here and co copy this up here. And then you're gonna go back, go to edit settings. You're gonna go over to the bottom and then just fix this. And then bam, just click close it, save, and then you're gonna click reload. And then so, and then you can, you can drag stuff in it again and just click to it again. It's going to send it to your to your documents once again. And as you can see, there it is. Well, th th that is all for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it and subscribe and like this video. And uh, for more stuff, just go to teacherforme.org and uh, see what we're up to. Uh, thanks and uh, goodbye.